What's going on guys, it's your boy Serato back at you one more time again and in today's video we are out here surviving Corona by painting some shoes. We're doing some Star Wars shoes because this seems like some kind of Star Wars disease like right. It's a pandemic so I gotta find something to do, give you guys as much content as possible to watch during this whole lock in stay at home period. Um, so make sure you guys hit that bell, um, hit the like button for me, uh, subscribe, do the whole vibe, you know how it goes. It really helps me out if you guys hit that like button. Um, but for today, I've got a Star Wars video for you as I said I think um, Darth Maul from my guy Austin if you don't know Austin he's an entertainer but he asked me specifically for a Darth Maul piece so I went and did something I've never done before my whole entire career of customizing which was get a Nike ID I want to see if you guys can see that there you go um, Nike by you I got a Nike ID piece where I specifically made the base shoe for this piece to match something that would work for this design which I've always just found a shoe and made it work um, so as you can see we've got these Kyrie sixes right here um, I put the glow in the dark soles on the bottoms of these joints um, glow in the dark swoosh because that's real Star Wars galaxy type vibes um, I put the galaxy sort of looking print um, on the inside of the midsole on the inside on the midsole whatever and I got that Star Wars looking stormtrooper like paralyzed whatever they call it, whatever color that is, whatever they call that, came out super hard. And then I put, uh, if you guys could see that there, right there, I put the Austin Mahome, you know, and the other one has a big old A in the Kyrie logo. I got that custom made for my bro. And then I got the Serato on the tongue, which is super tough. Um, so great base shoe already, but we're gonna go ahead and make it even better. Let's go ahead and hop into the video. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more uh, up close detail shots on these, and then we're gonna get right into it. So first, I'm gonna mask, stuff the shoe, and delace them. Now I'm gonna find my reference materials. That means all the images I might need to make the shoe, uh, all my portrait pieces, the whole thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the stencils on my computer and then cut them out on my silhouette cameo. print the portraits out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place these stencils on the shoe and go ahead and start the line work on my portraits. Now I'm gonna mask the portrait itself first, then I'm gonna mask the swoosh off, and then I'm gonna mask the actual whole entire panel off so I can do different backgrounds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the toe box and my actual full background. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint in the portraits.
Now we've done all that, we get to go ahead and remove the masking, touch up all the edges, the whole thing. Really finish the shoe up. And last but not least, I just gotta throw my Serato logo on there and now I get to go and show you guys the finished product. Let's go check them out.